much for joining us today for another virtual event with Jewel Osco. My name is Jessica Sanchez, and I am part of the GT Universe team, working today in partnership with Jewel Osco to bring you guys these amazing lifestyle wellness virtual events. Today, as Stephanie mentioned, is a gluten-free focused virtual event, and we're so excited to share all of these amazing products, but especially Char, Char products, because we have Megan, who is Char's dietitian here with us today, We'll be talking a little bit more about Sharp products and uh, other nutritious facts about them. But before we hand it off to her, I just want to let you guys know a few things. Uh, we are recording today's uh, virtual event. So um, just in case you guys saw that little red dot at the top, we are recording. So let's keep everything nice and professional. And um, also in the chat function, please feel free to use it. Uh, go ahead and write down any questions you might have for myself or for uh, Megan or just in general about any of the products that you'll be seeing. And uh, yeah, feel free to comment and leave any sort of answers. If you have the an, an answer for somebody else's question, go for it. Just please keep it nice and uh, professional and uh, friendly in there. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Megan. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Megan Donnelly. I'm the registered dietitian at Dr. Char USA, which makes Char gluten-free food. Um, I'm based, well, I'm in New Jersey right now in our offices in Lyndhurst, New Jersey, but I'm from New York City, and I went to NYU to get my master's in nutrition, and my training is at the VA, so um, I worked at the Veterans Hospital in the Bronx for a year. So I've been a dietitian at Char now for about two years. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and get started and tell you a little bit about the company. We are an Italian company, actually. Um, we've been doing gluten-free food for almost 40 years in Italy. We're one of the first dedicated gluten-free brands in the world, and we are a worldwide brand. So what you have in the U.S., you might see if you're ever traveling to Europe. Um, we're, our headquarters are in a beautiful mountain area of Italy, and um, we're all over the world. So really you can find your products anywhere if you're looking for a gluten-free option. Um, our mission is to improve the lives of special nutritional people with special nutritional needs. And that's super important. And that's why we have an international team of dietitians working to make our brand um, what we think is better than others. Um, we have a whole bunch of gluten-free breads, pastas, cookies, crackers, chocolate items. Um, you know, Italians are very serious about their bread goods, so ours are really, really good, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. Um, but on the gluten-free side, so we are really focused on celiac disease as our core target and our non-celiac gluten sensitives. Those are people who may not have diagnosed celiac disease but also need to follow a gluten-free diet. Um, and we also have some products specifically for people with irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. So I'm going to talk a little bit about all of those. Um, celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder, and the only treatment for it is the gluten-free diet. And it affects 1% of the population worldwide, regardless of any race, ethnicity, um, country you're from. It's, it's really pretty much the same prevalence worldwide. And interestingly, about 80% of people with celiac disease are undiagnosed. And that's because a lot of doctors aren't really well educated in how to diagnose it, but also because um, a lot of people present with different symptoms. So a lot of there's traditional symptoms where you know you get your stomach issues, but there's a lot of different symptoms. There's a lot of asymptomatic people. So all of these things make the diagnosis really challenging. The good news is, <laughs> is that um, we are always trying to educate healthcare providers worldwide on some of the things to look for. So I work a lot with doctors and dietitians to try to make sure that everyone's on the same page and our dietitians do this all over the world. So hopefully we make an impact. Um, some interesting nutritional properties of our products. I, I always like to point out our products are all um, non-GMO, preservative free, free from artificial colors and preservatives. Um, they are all made with, well, all the bread items are made with a sourdough starter. And the reason that's really great is because it's easier to digest. The bacteria in the bread are actually 
um, they actually partially break down some of the starches that are difficult to digest and therefore they make it a little easier. So if you have irritable bowel syndrome or not, or you have a gluten sensitivity, it may be a little bit better to buy a gluten-free product. Um, all of our foods are produced in dedicated gluten-free facilities. And this is so important because it means that there's no risk of contamination. We test every ingredient and finished product for everything that goes into our food to make sure that there's no contamination from gluten in the product. Um, for some of the other allergens, a lot of our items are dairy-free and egg-free. And most of them are also nut free. It depends on the facility. Some of our chocolate items um, may be a little different, but we're very clear and serious about allergens on our labels. So if it says it on the label, we really, really do test it because we want to make sure our food is safe for all the people consuming it. Um, another interesting thing about our foods and the reason that I think one of the reasons at least we're so unique is that a lot of our bread items are produced in this little packaging. It looks like a vacuum seal packaging, but it's not. It's called modified atmosphere packaging. And this is um, a way of packaging where you modify the gases inside of the plastic wrap and it keeps the product fresh for a longer period of time. So this is why we're one of the few gluten-free breads that is actually on the shelf, shelf stable, ready to eat, and not in the freezer section. So that's kind of a fun fact about our breads. Um, I also wanted today to talk about the table crackers because these are some of our favorite items. I know at Jewel Asco, you guys have, our, this is our classic table cracker. Um, it's very, it's one of our most popular items. It's really delicious and versatile. We have a lot of great recipes for it on our website and I'll talk a little bit more about the website in a minute. Um, and then we recently, brand new, just launched two new flavors, one of which I have here. So we have the multigrain table crackers and we also have a rosemary flavored table cracker. As a dietitian, I love this multigrain one because it's got a lot of really healthy grains and seeds in it. So I'm really excited about this one, but these table crackers are great. They are very, um, they're very versatile. You can, they're, they're great with all kinds of toppings, cheese, whatever you want. I pretty much have them every single day. Inside of the package, they're, they come in little packs like this, so they're ready to go. Um, so really good item. I think if you're looking for, you know, crackers or something you really miss, ours are really good substitute, and I think they're better than the regular ones. Um, but other than that, we've got bagels here. We've got a pizza crust. We've got all kinds of things. I was told by the team that pizza is um, pizza crust is part of our is part of the Festa Italian, and um, the hamburgers and hot dogs they use in the chop and shop. So some fun things you can do at Jolasco specifically. Um, as far as things we do at Char, I've got a lot of there's a lot of good stuff on our website. We offer. Um, recipes. We have a lot of educational resources if you're trying to learn more about celiac disease and non-celiac gluten sensitivity and the gluten-free diet and the need for gluten-free diet. Um, if you follow us on social media at Char Gluten Free on both Facebook and Instagram, we have a lot of times we do a lot of giveaways, we do contests, we love to share posts of people using our products out in the world so we will share your stuff a lot of times and um, any any questions you have if you'd like samples or coupons you can email um, Stephanie actually so Stephanie's one of the coordinators of this great event so her email is Stephanie at GT universe um, did I get that right gtuniverse.com <laughs> yes and um, yeah, so you can either email her directly or she'll put her email address in the chat and you can, we're happy to send you some samples and coupons. So I think that kind of covers it. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about Char, about gluten-free diets, about celiac disease. I'm open to hear all your questions. So hopefully that was um, helpful for you and let me know if you have any other questions. I think I'm going to turn it over to Jessica and she's going to talk about some more wonderful gluten-free options. Yeah, I think I saw a question in the chat function. Okay. Stuff. Yeah, so one of the questions was uh, in what section of Jewel can we find your products? 
All right, so most of them you're going to find in the bread in the bread section. Um, it kind of depends on where your gluten-free items are in the store, but for the most part, they're bread items. They'll be in the bread section. Awesome. And then we also had a question. Uh, do you use quinoa or other gluten-free grains? Yeah, so it kind of depends on the product. Um, in, some, in our multi-grain bread and our 10 grains and seeds bread and our multi-grain crackers, there are some, um, some of those, we call them pseudo cereals in the science world. There, we do have some of those. We also contain, you know, chia and flax seeds. We have some of the good healthy seeds. It kind of depends. A lot of our breads are corn based and a lot of people think corn isn't healthy, but that's actually not true at all. It's a great starchy vegetable and it contains a lot of B vitamins and good fiber. So um, most of our products are corn based, but we do have some, some rice, some quinoa, depending on the product. Awesome. And then we had a, a note about your packaging and how it's resealable. And I just love that fact about like all the breads and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. The packaging is really, um, it does a great job of keeping the product fresh. I mean, we are, most of our breads, this is not a hundred percent, but for the most part, they're all shelf stable for four months. And once you open them, um, you can put them in the refrigerator or you can reseal them. Or, um, I like to freeze them because I can never go through a loaf fast enough. So they're really <laughs> versatile. Awesome. And then uh, we had a question about the crackers. Are they salt free? They are not salt free. I will say um, we have a quality commitment that we've just implemented at the company to lower the sugar, salt, and fat in all of our products across the board. Compared to a lot of gluten-free items you might see, we are pretty much comparable salt. Um, but six crackers is 230 milligrams of sodium, which is, I would say moderate. <laughs> not low, but we're getting there. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that's a great improvement. I'm so excited to hear more about that. Um, and then they were asking how many different types of bread you have. I know there's like a ton between like the hamburger buns and like oh actual <laughs> artisan bread and ciabatta and bagels. Um, you got a ton of stuff over there. Yeah, I'm, I don't know the exact number, but I'm going to go between 10 and 15. <laughs> that's a wow. fair statement. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing and we'll, we'll hop back and forth as we get some more questions. All right. Great. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. I know you mentioned these, these are the char crackers, the table crackers that I have over here. And I just love putting these like on charcuterie boards They're just out and then people can just scoop whatever dip they want on top. So definitely very, very delicious. So I totally agree. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to move on to Urban Farmer. I just want to quickly touch point on this product before we put it in the oven. Um, so this is Urban Farmer's Pizza. And they do carry a variety of flavors at Jolasco in the freezer section. But today I'm popping in the oven the chicken sausage on a sweet potato crust. I've had this before. It's absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it in the oven for 15 minutes, talk about another product, and once it's ready, I'll show you guys uh, the finished product, and we'll do a little taste test. Uh, but yeah, let's toss that in there. And like I said, just for 15 minutes. All right. <laughs> I just love how quick and easy it is to make like these pizzas though, like literally 15 minutes in and out. It's so great. Yeah, I love it. It's the perfect size too. Exactly. And they have a ton of different flavors as well, if I remember correctly. I think we have at least three in all of our jewels. Yeah, there was at the at my Jewelosco, there was about I want to say like four to five in the freezer section. Um, but this is the one I love to gravitate towards when I'm picking up some frozen pizza. Um, just because like I've had it before and my dad and his girlfriend are big fans of it too. So we just all like eat it together for dinner. It's very delicious. Um, but we'll talk a little bit more about that once it's ready and out of the oven. Uh, but next up, we are going to go ahead and talk about Bakery on Main, since it's right in front of it. <laughs> so this is a Bakery on Main's Bunches of Crunches. This is their dark chocolate sea salt with chia. This is so good. This is like a granola that's kind of like a dessert in a one, kind of. <laughs> at least that's how I like to look at it. Uh, I love topping off my yogurt with it. This is, like I said, 
Well, like we mentioned, everything here is gluten free. So this is gluten free. Um, it just it has so many superfoods inside of it. Like just here, it's telling you it's uh, 10 grams of whole grains per serving. Has chia. It has a good source. It's a good source of fiber. It has ancient grains in it. It's so delicious. If you guys have not tried this, you are missing out. I think we've mentioned before um, there are other products that Bakery on Main carries. We've mentioned like the maple with cranberry granola before um, in one of these virtual events. And that one is very delicious too. But if you're looking more of like a sweeter granola, you kind of have a sweet tooth. Um, there you go. You kind of have a sweet tooth like I do. I gravitate towards this one. And I love that they're like ch a chunkier granola so that maybe if you weren't going to top off a yogurt with it, you just wanted to grab a handful and eat it on the go. You can totally do that because it is nice and clumpy and chunky. Um, or if you wanted a more finer granola, you can just crush it up, cr crush up those chunks. And that would be perfect too. Um, these are what else? Uh, kosher. They uh, are non-GMO. And like I said, good source of fiber, which is really good to have in the morning, especially with like your granola. Um, but yeah, they, they have those uh, superfoods in there that are a nice little boost uh, combined with that dark chocolate for that sweeter tooth type of person. Um, but yeah, that is Bunches of Crunches. Do we have any questions about Bakery on Main's granola? Um, I don't think so, but I know that I love these on like my yogurt parfaits, like you said. So they're just, they're super good. And like, honestly, you could just eat it as cereal if you really felt like it. They're so good. Yeah, totally. Throw some milk in there and just eat it like that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we don't have any questions though, but uh, I'm very excited about these. All of these gluten-free products are so awesome. Like it really makes it easy to like be gluten-free. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, this is more of, of like a treat, sort of. Um, so I know that, you know, some people might think like, oh, gluten free products maybe are, um, you know, they compromise the taste because they are taking the gluten out of the product. But that's not the case. I um, mean, you'll see that with a few of their other products that I'll mention. But um, something like this, you know, it's gluten free. It's delicious and it's packed with so much, uh, so much nutritious uh, benefits to it too. Awesome. So that is Bakery on Main. If you guys do end up having any questions about any of these products throughout the uh, live uh, events, please feel free to ask away. Um, next up, we'll talk about uh, Kikoman. So this is their gluten-free uh, Kikoman uh, tamari soy sauce, and this is also a low soy, a uh, low sodium version of that soy sauce. So, this is something that I like to use when I'm making my like healthier version of uh, maybe like shrimp fried rice or chicken fried rice. Uh, anything with like lower sodium, I tend to grab because, um, like I said, my dad and my girlfriend, uh, I live with them, so. When I'm making foods like that, I like to consider, you know, my dad's a diabetic and I love getting things that have like low sodium in there, low sugar. So something like this is really awesome. And I'm glad that Kikoman carries that because I love their other products too, but this stuff is good and uh, better for you. Um, some, something about this. Oh, this does contain soybeans though. So if you guys um, are looking for a product that um, does not have soy, this does. Uh, this this is non-GMO as well, gluten-free of course. Uh, has has a ton of like good flavor to it. I've had it. I've made my food with it before. It's delicious. Yeah, someone said shrimp fried rice with the fire. It's so good. Trust me, <laughs> you guys need to try it. Um, it's also low in calories and it has zero fat. It's perfect for the rice, like I said, and marinade. So if you wanted to marinade uh, some of your meat that would be really good with this. Um, perfect for stir fries and for dressings. So that is Kikoman. Awesome. And then someone asked, does it have any tamarind in it? Uh, I believe so. Let's see. Sugar. Oh, it doesn't. No. So all it is is a water, soybeans, sugar, salt, 
vinegar, alcohol. There you go. So short list of ingredients there. And you <laughs> and can read all you of can them. Read. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can understand all of the ingredients in there. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm always like with certain sauces, I'm always like, uh, there's so many like additives. But Kikamon is literally just such simple ingredients. And it's really all in the process. Like I was talking with like the creators and it was it was so awesome like hearing about how they actually make the soy sauce and this is what's used in a lot of restaurants too so if you like restaurant soy sauce kikoman's the one yeah i think um when i was reading about more facts about them i saw like the gigantic jugs that they have for sale um unfortunately like I don't think I'll ever be able to go through one of those. So I'm glad that Joel Osco carries this for the average consumer like myself. <laughs> um, but they do also have like other products. So if you're not just looking for gluten-free products, Kikoman does carry like other ones. Like I'm just going to reach over here. I have um, another one right here. This is their stir fry sauce. Uh, it's so good. Preservative free. This one isn't gluten-free, but just letting you guys know another option that they carry um very very delicious stuff so that is kikoman exactly yeah and i love that it's less sodium like you said that's that's always great yes definitely moving on i think i'll go to this side over here <laughs> we have skinny pop so i'm a big big lover of popcorn i love snacking on popcorn everyone that knows me knows that and um, Skinny Pop has so many varieties of flavors that are so delicious. This one here is the sea salt and pepper, but they have like the butter one, they have the original, they have uh, the kettle flavored one. And then more recently I tried their uh, lime flavored one and that one is so good. It literally tastes like someone just freshly squeezed a lime over the popcorn and that's exactly how it tastes. So delicious. So. I actually haven't tried this one, so we'll try it together. Um, but this one is only 39 calories per cup, which is nice. Um, it is dairy-free, non-GMO, peanut-free, tree nut-free, preservative-free. Uh, it has zero trans fat, a good source of fiber, and does not have any artificial flavors in it. That's very good. And you can see, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has, like, fresh crushed pepper in there that you can see and that you can taste. Very delicious. I love that. I love One of our viewers is eating some right now. Oh, good. <laughs> I was just about to ask um, everyone that's watching, I would love to know what Skinny Pop popcorn flavor is your favorite in the comment section. So leave it in there. I would definitely say this one's really good. Um, but my favorite one, it, it's still the lime. Ever since I've had it, I can't get over it. Someone said it tastes homemade too. It really does. Very delicious. Very light. You know, great snack. I also love throwing hot sauce on top of my popcorn. So <laughs> if you wanted to spice up your popcorn a little bit, try it. Thank me later. <laughs> I love that. I am definitely a kettle corn fan. It's it's the sweet and salty that gets it for me. But they do it they do it so well too. So I love Skinny Pop like any movie night or like just any evening at all. <laughs> yes. Especially now that we have more time during this quarantine to uh binge on Netflix, grab a bag of these, grab multiple flavors, uh, maybe have like a taste test kind of night while you're doing uh Netflix nights and try them out guys they're so delicious exactly and the serving sizes are so nice too like a whole cup for 39 calories that's not bad yes yeah I agree when once and it's right in the front too like that's such an important like fact about skinny pop and they're like front center here you go this is it <laughs> sweet so yeah that is again skinny pop so moving on, we have about five more minutes on that pizza. So we'll be uh, talking about Urban Farmer very, very soon. Um, let's see, let's do Quaker next. So, so Quaker does carry gluten-free oats. Um, this is not the one. If you are looking for the gluten-free one, their label, this part right here would be like a purple color, like a lavender color. So just be on the lookout at your local Jalasco. Um, my Jalasco 
was sold out of it. <laughs> it was that popular. So um, I'll be giving you guys facts about the Quaker gluten-free one, but just keep in mind, it's not with this blue label. It has a purple one here. And it also has like, I think it's either in this corner or down here, it'll say gluten-free as well, like front and center. Um, but yeah, the Quaker uh, oats are 100% whole grain. Um, perfect for breakfast. I personally love using them to make like uh, these energy bars or energy balls. And I would just mix the uh, Quaker oats with a banana and um, dark chocolate, chocolate chips. And you don't even have to bake them. You just have to um, uh, form them into a ball and then throw them in your fridge and then they're ready to go. So that's just like a quick, easy, uh, healthier dessert. Uh, that you can try at home and make it yourself and it's super fast super easy but that's the way I like to use Quaker oats um, but I know a lot of people love having their oatmeal in the mornings topped with fruits and um, people add like honey on top something like that that's just a great breakfast option as well um, yeah what else can we say about them um, the gluten-free ones uh, don't compromise on flavor either. Just because they take the gluten out of it doesn't mean they take the taste out of it. So something to keep in mind. Um, they're sodium-free. Uh, they are a good source of fiber, um, have no artificial preservatives or flavors, and um, contain four grams of fiber per serving. So just keep that in mind. Awesome. Um, Someone yeah. said they add nut butter to theirs. So that seems yummy. Can I just comment on the gluten-free oat situation? Yeah. Um, so oats are naturally gluten-free for the most part. The only issue is, that, well, not the only issue, but it, the biggest problem is that a lot of times they're contaminated either in processing or in the fields because they're mm -hmm. produced next to or on the same equipment as wheat containing products. And so the reason to look for a certified gluten-free oat is really just to prevent yourself from getting contaminated from that. We call it gluten cross contact or cross contamination. It, it's really just to prevent that. So I always recommend certified gluten-free oats. If you have celiac disease or a gluten intolerance, it's just going to be safer. I love that fact because yeah, I kind of also had that same idea. I was like, well, aren't they gluten-free? But yeah, just to be on the safe side, look for that label. Um, and look for that color on their packaging. Yeah. Do, did we have any questions, Steph, on that product? Uh, no, people were just excited about the purple label. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there wasn't um, as much space on the shelf as like the regular um, Quaker Oats. These are the quick one minute ones, but they also had like the three minute steel oats, and um, then they had the regular old fashioned ones too. And obviously those are a little bit more popular. So I could see why the gluten-free ones were sold out at my store. <laughs> All right, so we have about a minute left on this pizza. So I might just talk to you guys next about the pizza since it's about to come out. Um, so again, this is Urban Farmers. Uh, pizza. They are local. So uh, they are based out of, I think I'm saying this right, Manteno, Illinois. So they are here in Illinois. That's super fun fact because when I found that, I was like, oh, really? That's awesome. Uh, having this delicious pizza that is local uh, to us and local to Juasco. Um, they honestly, it tastes like regular pizza, even though it is on a sweet potato crust. I'm a big sweet potato fan. Um, there it is. So I wouldn't mind it at all, even if it did taste like more of like a sweet potato flavor. Um, but honestly, it just, it tastes amazing. And um, the chicken sausage on this pizza does, it does have like spices to it. So it is a little spicy, like you will be able to taste it, but um, nothing where you have to like reach for a glass of water or milk, nothing like that. But it does add a lot of like delicious flavor to um, the sausage that's on there. So let's just take this out. Where is my mitt? Here it is. 
<laughs> exactly. And people are talking about how the sweet potato crust is a must. And I like that it rhymes. That was my favorite part about that. Um, oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, someone else said they love sweet potato fries. So this has to be good. Uh, and I would have to agree. I am a big fan of sweet potato fries. So I feel like making a pizza out of it just like really amps it up. <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here. I love sweet potato fries. Um, I actually got like my boyfriend into liking them and he was never like a sweet potato lover. He's like, they're going to be too healthy, but no, they're, they're so delicious. Oh man, this is good. Good pizza. Has anyone tried this pizza before? Let me know in the comments in the chat function. It's really delicious. Oh, I'll take this little piece here. So it does suggest for you to leave it in for 15 to 18 minutes, but I don't like my crust like super crunchy. So I just left it in for 15 at 425 degrees in the oven. I think I'll just let it cool down a second. Yeah, that'll be a good piece. I'll let that cool down for a sec. Um, so this does contain eggs and milk. Just in case uh, you guys were wondering, uh, it does have, you know, cheese in there. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Where is the box? Here we go. So this is how the box looks. I think it's a perfect size, honestly, for like two to three people. Um, anything more than that, I would say pop in another one, grab two for the night for dinner. Uh, but it's like a perfect portion for two to three people to eat comfortably. Um, they do have other pizzas that have different toppings, of course, different types of crusts. I did see that there was a broccoli crust uh, that they did carry. I haven't tried it yet. I think that one is like a, a supreme uh, type of variety. So it has like a ton of veggies on there. Um, it might not have meat. I don't think that one did, but just the broccoli crust got me interested in trying it um, because I've had like cauliflower pizza. I've had this one already. Um, but I haven't had one that was a broccoli crust. So I'm very interested to see how that one tastes. Exactly. And now's the best time to be trying out all these products because they're on sale for this program. So for the entire month of August, if you're looking to taste test any of these items, now is the time. We Most of these products are on sale or at least one product from each of the brands that we're mentioning is on sale. So if you want to do a taste test of Skinny Pop or try out that broccoli from Urban Farmer, uh, I would do it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going back to try that, um, to try other flavors because I do have that broccoli crust one um, in my freezer already. So before those sales end, I need to head back to Jewel. So I'm just going to take a quick, quick bite of this. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Again, Urban Farmer Pizza. I highly recommend it. All right, moving on. Another item that is in the freezer section at Jewelosco is this one of Path of Life. So this is their uh, rice cauliflower blend. They do have other varieties in uh, Jewelosco's freezers as well. They are a newer product to Jewelosco. So in case you haven't seen it before, um, this is newer and they're in these fun little bags in the freezer section. Uh, this one is a blend with peas, carrots, and red bell pepper. So I think this would be great. Like we were talking earlier about that uh, fried, like shrimp fried rice, chicken fried rice. This would be awesome to use the Kikoman with together and create that super healthy uh, shrimp fried rice or chicken fried rice at home because this is cauliflower rice. So if you guys haven't tried it, you need to try it. Cauliflower rice, I feel like, has become this, like, new trend. Um, it's also been used a lot for, like, we mentioned the keto diet not that long ago. I think that was last week. We were talking about the keto diet, and um, since they can have uh, rice or grains like that, they tend to use cauliflower rice in their diet. So that's one thing. If you're considering the keto diet after hearing our virtual event from last week, pick this one up from Path of Life. <laughs> um, so it looks like rice. You can cook it just like rice, um, but obviously it's gonna be a little bit lighter and slightly different taste depending on what spices you use with it. 
or um, what sauces you use with it as well. And this is, uh, it does contain soy. So in case you guys were wondering, it does have that, but it, um, it also has, I think it says it has a garlic flavor in it, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is the, a delicious option if you're looking for like a, a healthier uh, alternative to rice. Exactly. What a great side dish too. And how many minutes does it take to cook it? Is it like a steam and bag type of situation? Oh yeah. Good, good question. So here we go. So you could uh, cook it in the microwave. So it mm. says it will take five and a half minutes and um, you would just have to leave it in the bag just like that, lay it down and it's five and a half minutes or uh, heat it up for one minute in a skillet. So one minute. Oh, put it on high for one minute and then cover it for six minutes. So yeah, I was like, that's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great for a stir fry though. I feel like that would be like a nice little bedding to put your stir fry with kikamon sauce on. There I agree. Go. Yeah. I got think... a whole meal right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just throw a protein in there and you'll be good. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Awesome. So that was Path of Lives cauliflowered uh, rice cauliflower and I think we just we have two more products to talk about so I'll go with this one over here this is good thins and these are the jalap jalapeno and lime flavor I've had these before super delicious um again these will go go great with like in a charcuterie board or um if you have like a creamy dip or a thicker dip they, these would be great for that they already have that jalapeno and lime flavor so Anything, um, maybe like tomato-y would go great with this or uh, like a really good cheese on top of them. And they look like this. They're little squares. And what's cool is that I think you have to have 38 pieces in a single serving, which is insane to me because that's a lot of pieces. That's like maybe two big handfuls and that's just one serving. So that's something to keep in mind. And they're this little, very delicious little crackers. Um, and they're great as a snack, non-GMO as well, made with real ingredients. And, um, yeah, I could see myself, you know, throwing these inside my desk at work and then just picking them up here and there and just snacking on them throughout the day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. With a serving size that big, like you might as well. They're just like a nice little desk snack. That's so fun. Yeah, exactly. And I wonder how many pieces total. So, oh, it says three servings per container. Yeah, I was going to oh, say, I was like, that's like one box. So I'll be eating that in my next Netflix binge for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked how spicy they were since it's jalapeno. Oh, uh, let's see. Not at all. You get more <laughs> of the lime flavor. <laughs> I'm like, no, none, no spice. <laughs> um, you get more of the lime flavor out of it. Mm, you could taste like a very small hint of the jalapeno, but it's nothing like overpowering and it's nothing um, that, like I said, you would need to like reach over for like a, a glass of water or milk or anything like that. It's a very like refreshing flavor of lime mostly. Awesome. And then how much sodium is in this product? Sodium, it says 180 milligrams per serving. That's not too bad. All right. Yeah. And like we said earlier, those are big servings too. So like having that much salt and that many crackers is awesome. Yep. Yeah. Big serving. <laughs> 38 pieces, guys. <laughs> so okay. that was good thins. And now moving on to our final product, last but not least, uh, this is the Mydell chocolate chip cookies. Very delicious. Good little dessert to have. I really love the packaging of this. We were talking about packaging from Char earlier. Uh, this one is a resealable bag. So once you pull the strip off, you can pop your hand in there to get cookies and then just seal it back up. So they stay nice and fresh and they're in this cute little cookie bag that they kind of reminded me of like the cookie bags that you see at like Joel Osco's bakery department, same shape, but these are resealable, super cute bags. Um, so yeah, these are baked baked to a crunchy perfection uh, so they are more on the crunchier side so if you if you were looking for um 
maybe like a softer cookie. This isn't it, but these are very good. And I love that they have like that little bite to it, that little crunch to it. Uh, they do have organic chocolate chips in them uh, made with gluten-free flour and organic sugar cane. And these do contain egg, soy, and milk. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, and yeah, they're like a very delicious little uh, chocolate chip cookie and um, perfect little treat or dessert for after dinner. I saw maybe a question. Someone asked, how do they taste? Oh, these are, so I've tasted these earlier. I'll take another bite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to ask me twice. They're cookies. I'm like, <laughs> very, very good. Are they like soft and mushy? So they're a little more crunchier. Mm -hmm. They're not like, they're not like going to crumble away and fall apart, but um, they do have like a nice texture to them and a good bite. You get a good bite out of them. And, um, oh, I didn't, I don't think I showed you guys the size of them, but pretty much they're the same size as on the picture. So that's how they are. Small, maybe like two bite cookies. <laughs> there we go. And what kind of flour are they made with? These are made with gluten-free flour. So awesome. yeah, it just says uh, rice flour, soy flour, corn flour. There we go. Awesome. And then someone says they like cookies warm so how how long should they warm it in Ooh. an oven or a microwave i would say mm. like 10 seconds in a microwave yeah would i wouldn't put it in there for too long because then when you bite into it the chocolate chips will be too hot <laughs> um but i'd say just like you know like stephanie said like 10 15 seconds yeah not too bad but I love those cookies. They're so, they're so good. They're just like the perfect amount of like crunch. So I agree. Yum. And I do love again that they're just like this size. So two bites and you're done. So if you wanted to limit yourself, you know, and do maybe just like a quick small handful, uh, you know, it's perfect, perfect size. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for sharing, Jess. These all look yeah. awesome. Uh, is your pizza cooled enough? Do we get, oh yeah, we already got a, a snapshot yeah, of that. We got a bite. But they're yep. <laughs> so good. All of it looks so good. I am always hungry after these events because like I'm looking at all these great different foods and oh, it's so great. Um, do we have any last questions about gluten-free diets? Anything we want to ask Megan while she's here? Uh, she's our resident uh, dietitian, so make sure to ask her any questions you might have, um, anything about any of the products, just let us know, um, and make sure to send your address to Stephanie at GT Universe if you want any samples or coupons from Char. Awesome. Well, if we don't have any questions, Thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna do like a dramatic pause, uh, but <laughs> I love thank it. you so much for joining us tonight. We are so excited about all these products. I know for a fact that I will be trying all of them that I haven't tried, like the good things. I am so excited about those because, like, you were telling me last time that like the lime really is like just refreshing. So, gotta get on those. Yeah. Gotta get on the Char products. I know that I use the hamburger buns for like my burgers. It just makes me feel better about my life. So. So I definitely like using yeah. the shower products. Um, and yeah, so definitely uh, get to Jewel, pick some of these items up or all of them. They're on sale for the entire month of August. So get them while they're hot. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. This is so fun. Thanks, Megan. All right. Thank you for joining us, Megan. Of course. Yay. Have a good rest of your night. Thanks, guys. You Have too. a great evening. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.